It's time for another Dice Tower Review with Z Garcia. Hey, hey, folks. Today we are taking a look at a little expansion for Tokaido called Matsuri. Uh, Matsuri stands for festival, and this is what the uh, game brings to, uh, what the expansion brings to the main game. You are now going to be triggering one new action at every inn that you stop along the way. Every time you eat a meal, then you are going to deal with one card, okay? Uh, pretty simple, very straightforward. Let me show you what's in here and how it works, and then I'll tell you what I think of it. Here we go. The first thing I will say about Matsuri is that it requires both the full game to play and it requires the first expansion of the game, Crossroads, here. So be aware of that. Uh, you are going to want to get this one uh, and make sure you already have the first expansion. You don't want to jump right into that. The game includes basically a stack of new character cards, these Matsuri cards, and then some tokens, which are really just for uh, uh, marking effects and things like that, that the cards will tell you to mark, or the characters. So that's basically all the tokens are. So just characters and some cards. And the characters, you're just going to shuffle them into the main deck and allow players to grab one from two. They say now, since you've got so many of them, you can allow every player to draft, to, to take their character, pick their character from three instead of just from two you gave them. But they're very straightforward. I'm just going to show you a couple here. This character, for example, uh, can leave first from every inn, no matter in what position they arrive. So they can always take off first. And this character here, when they uh, stop at a farm, they can either, if they take the three coins, they can take an extra coin. And if they roll the die, they can re-roll it if they'd like. So, there's a lot of them. It comes with 16 more character cards here. So, a, a nice amount of variety in those. Besides those, these cards are the ones that make up the uh, new ideas in the game here. And they come into effect whenever the characters are, have all ar arrived at an inn. So, if you've all arrived at an inn like this one here, for example, let's say we're all there then once everybody has arrived, everybody has purchased a meal, then whoever was first to arrive at the inn is going to draw two of these cards and they are going to pick one to go off and they have usually effects that uh, either go off immediately or they will be in an inn play until they arrived at the next inn and then that would be over. Uh, they're pretty straightforward, they typically affect everybody the same way and so let me show you a couple of these, for example um, this one here says that whenever somebody arrives at the springs, you're going to draw an encounter card and deal with that before you make your normal choice at the springs. Uh, and this one, by the way, has a little symbol there that means it's going to be an effect to, to check for throughout your journey there, basically. This one has a little lightning bolt. That means um, it's like a one-shot thing. This one affects multiple people. This one... When uh, people arrive at the next inn, every meal there is going to be worth one less, and the first player to arrive is going to draw two more cards uh, than normal. So you have more choices, and they all cost le uh, le one less, and that means that if the meal would normally cost one coin, it is free with this card. So there's a lot of different ones. Again, they typically are um, a minor effect that applies to everybody. And arriving first does give you the power of picking one of two of these that you trigger. And that's basically it. So you get these, and you get your new uh, characters, and like I said, a few tokens. And uh, that pretty much makes up Matsuri. So as you can see, not a whole lot of new content really in this expansion. And I think ultimately... That's my biggest complaint with this one. The first expansion, Crossroads, I thought added a lot. In fact, I, I, at some points, I thought it added too much because it made this game that was very straightforward and very much a family weight game and gave the players literally, you know, half, uh, twice as many choices, you know, 
And so I thought, oh wow, this is maybe this is too much for people that just want a, a more casual play experience. Now, assuming that you have that already, I would say you enjoy games that are not always casual, you know, because that, that gives you a lot of choices in Tokaido. And therefore, since it's required for this expansion, I'm not sure you're going to find a lot of new interest in this one. The characters are neat. I like that. More characters, always good. But the new thing this game adds is a deck of 20 cards that four times in the game, or three times really in the game, you are going to grab, you know, and maybe not even you, someone's going to grab two cards and they're going to pick one and play it. And it affects everybody in some random way. Not a whole lot, you know, that's pretty minor. And uh, it might literally all be out of your hands if you never arrive at one of those inns first. So, while I don't think it's bad, and I think if you are a, a huge Tokaido fan, there's nothing wrong with it. I wouldn't say, oh, don't get it. I also don't think, unless you are the kind of person that needs it all, something you really uh, need to seek out, you know. This is minor. This really adds very little. And I understand this came out of the Kickstarter for the deluxe version of the game and was sort of a, a little sprinkling of something extra at the end of the campaign. You know, it was like, okay, we have stretch goals and all that. Let's add uh, an extra expansion here and throw it in. That's for people who got the deluxe one. But they are selling this on its own. And... For that crowd, the people that don't have the deluxe version, then I'm not sure that this expansion on its own is worth it. Too little, um, not really an interesting variation on what was already going on, and so unless you are dying for the extra characters, you can probably pass on this one. That's Tokaido Matsui. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.